Welcome everybody, it's going to be the recap for the week ending on October 2nd of 2020. Um, have a little bit of update on uh, the crystal ball, but before we even get into that, let's take a look at the uh, weekly stats. Once again, we are looking at the PAP pattern as we do every week, and these are what we call naked setups. And in other words, we're not using any kind of filtration. Uh, we do teach filtration in the main class or in the main course, but uh, what I'm doing here is I'm taking the very first trade of the day. It uh, doesn't matter what the filtration looks like to show you the success of having just taking a first trade of the day, not considering anything else, not considering momentum, trend, whatever you may be looking at. Whatever that first setup is for the PAP, that's the one that I'm taking. And it uh, doesn't matter if it could come in the Aussie, uh, the Euro, the Pound, or the US Yen. These are the four main ones that I trade. And this is the first trade at 8 a.m. I begin trading core at 8 a.m. every day. And this is the first trade after 8 a.m. It's not 9 a.m. It's not 10 a.m. It's not 7 a.m. It is 8 a.m. Central Time every day. And these are stats. So if you see... The mornings were very good, only had one morning where I took a loss, still hitting at 80%. And the night, the way the nights work is I'm taking the very first trade after 7 p.m. Central. 7 p.m. Central every night, whatever the first setup is, that's the one that I'm taking. And that went at 100%. Now, uh, a little bit about this week. I was not here on Friday. I was out of town so I wasn't trading CB, but I did keep track of the stats when I got back. I did look them over, and that's where you're seeing these kind of results, okay? But I was not here physically to make any trades on Friday, and I did not take the first trade of the day, but I did go back and saw that the first trade of the day would have worked uh, on Friday morning. So that's why I went ahead and I put a yes there, all right? So that was a profitable trade as well for anybody that was in the main room and trading uh, any of the PAP setups, okay? Um, so going into CB, as I mentioned last week, uh, CB is no longer is no longer available for first time purchasers. You must now first purchase the core package and then I will evaluate whether I will allow you to upgrade now to CB. CB is not gonna be something I'm just gonna be allowing people to purchase all right this is a uh this is my best setups and um they allow me to trade deep out of the money and it's something i put a lot of time and effort into it and not everybody is going to be allowed to buy it anymore all right i've talked about this in the past and now i am implementing it so you will not repeat not be able to go out and straight buy cb as a first time purchaser you must first purchase the core package you may you, you must understand and master first the core strategies and those setups before I would consider allowing you to come into and learning CB. All right, CB takes you at a whole new level. The beauty of CB it allows me to start buying and selling deep out of the money. So where I'm trading mainly in the money options with the core package, I'm trading deep out of the money with CB. All right totally uh, it's a totally different approach and uh it, the risk to reward is uh very attractive all right and so that's why you see these nice numbers here because i can sell deep out of the money and i can sell for you know 85 90 dollars and i can put on several contracts instead of just trading onesies and twosies because I am basically have the same amount of risk as I would on the core package, but I can put more contracts on, okay? And so if I'm wrong, I'm not taking a big hit. And if I'm right, then that will make up for even four or five losing trades if that were to happen, okay? Which is kind of rare, but if it were to happen, it, uh, it would make up for that, okay? So once again, didn't trade CB on Friday, so I really don't know what that day, I did not go back and look, and um, so I don't know. I understand some people uh, had a pretty good day on Friday. I can't tell you that for a fact because I wasn't trading, but I still had a decent uh, a decent week overall, considering that I wasn't here on Friday. So that that is my my CB results. Um, the other thing I, I wanted to mention for any of you new traders, I, I really want to stress 
how important it is to spend time in front of your charts, okay? Not looking at indicators, all right? If you're trading with indicators, you're never gonna be successful, I promise you that. Most of you guys won't listen to me because you hear uh, and you see all these other YouTube videos, people using indicators and they tell you they make a lot of money, they don't folks. And um, if you wanna keep using indicators and you'll be looking for the rest of your life and you're never gonna be a profitable trader, you need to strip it up, you need to strip off those charts, you need to just look at the raw data and you need to look and understand price action. That's where you guys are gonna end up making your money. There is some very, very uh, powerful patterns there, but you need to take the time, okay? Uh, I can teach you those. Or you can get in there and spend the time like I did for 40 years and look for them yourself, but they are there, but you're not gonna see them with indicators. Look at the raw price action, all right? So that is kind of the tip for this week. But nonetheless, overall, not a bad week. Looking forward to uh, going into this uh, following week. As I said, things are really heating up. I've been talking so much about the yen being the strongest. Once again, look at those stats. I mean, look at the stats on the yen, the US yen. 77% of winning trades, okay? That's without any filtration. That's a if you close your eyes and just took every buy and sell signal, 77% in the morning, 94% in the evening. So in the morning, I'm trading from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central Time, and in the evening, only two hours. Two hours, that is 7 to 9 p.m. Central Time. So what a very strong market. And then, of course, I always recommend staying away from the pound, but I still track it. And then, of course, you can never go wrong trading the Aussie and the Euro. So uh, that's the other thing. If you guys are trading, don't trade more than two. I recommend one uh, at the most, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, at the least, obviously, and then at the most, no more than two, right? So no more than two when you guys are trading these five-minute binaries. You're not going to be able to trade all three, okay? Two at the most. So either the Aussie and the Yen or the Euro and the Yen or the Aussie and the Euro. It's up to you. Uh, but trade those and really get to know their personalities, okay? And that's why I suggest starting off with just one, understand its personality. They are a little bit different. And you will begin to anticipate moves. You will begin to see how they tend to move, okay? Because they all gyrate a little bit differently, okay? And the reason that's important is a lot of you guys, you get into trade and it goes against you right away. Well, some of these have a high tendency to go against you as soon as you get in. That usually is an indication that you are on the right side of the trade. Most people don't know that and they panic and they get out and they take a loss, all right? Uh, so you have to understand those tendencies. So anyway, that's it. I'll be back uh, this following week on the uh, on the ninth. Do another weekly recap. If you're interested in the core package, go to binaryprostrategies.com. Uh, go to uh, join now, and you'll get information on what's included in the package. Also, if you have any questions, um, you can contact me via that website as well. Everybody have a great trading week, and we will talk to you next week, next Friday, or next Saturday with the next weekly update.